Hey, today we'll discuss some things that you might have missed in the recent developer update. We'll also cover the CEO's response to a question about buffing both the Liberator Penetrator and Concussive capabilities. We'll also talk about how there's an auto cannon glitch that's currently making the rounds. Not only that, but there's so much more to talk about. If you find this video informative, feel free to tap the like button below at any point. The CEO of Arrowhead was asked two questions after the recent developer update. The first question was if there will be other ways of spinning metals and if this is coming up in the next big update on August 6th. There's a player on X who asked, Looking forward to it, Shams. Any word on progression and game currency changes? Been maxed on metals for three weeks. Would love to have a way to spend them on other things. Have lots of ideas if you want to hear them. Thanks. And Shams responded to this player and wrote, No news in that area. Okay, that's kind of a downer. If you were expecting new ways to exchange your in-game currency for samples, or even possibly even armor, it appears that this is not going to happen. And you know, I was really looking forward to this future, but I'll say that this might be for the best and just allow the Arrowhead developers to cook as they have just done. Maybe at some point we'll see the future after this big update, yet as of right now this is not arriving with the update on August 6th as far as we know right now. The last question was whether the developers plan on buffing two Liberator weapons, one being the Penetrator and the other being the Concussive. There's a player on X who asks, Shams, will the Lib Pin and the Lib Con finally get buffs with this update? The CEO replied to this player and said, I dearly hope so. Sadly, there's no definite answer here, but I wouldn't doubt it if we see some more changes for stratagems and weapons. The last update had buffed a few stratagems, and I'd suspect they'll do the same here. And maybe this time, it'll be the Liberators. And by the way, on that note, what I'd like to mention is that we received a clear answer about the exchange system not arriving next patch. And then the other question here, he did not say no or yes, like he has done previously with the first question. So with that, I believe we'll see a buff for the Liberators. You can, of course, take that as speculation, but that's what I believe. Now, actually, there's one more question here. The chief executive was asked if he was willing to try out the newest difficulty mode before the update arrives because apparently some players are worried that the Rockets will be too strong. There's a player here who asked, Excuse me before you update the 10 difficulty. Can you take the 10 difficulty test yourself? Everyone thinks Rockets are a little too strong. And Shams replied with, Will do. Haven't beat 9 yet though. Great news here considering the CEO is willing to test out difficulty level 10 for us and hopefully he can give some valid feedback to the developers once he reaches level 9 that is. Now just a guess here, I'm assuming the newest difficulty will be similar to what we experienced previously before they made the changes to the patrol spawns. If you know, then you know how intense and action packed those spawns were. Of course, at the time it was a bug and not a future, but I have a feeling they might have just turned it into one. I'd love to know your thoughts on there not being a metal or a sample exchange system. Do you think the next update will have enough to keep us on the grind? Post your responses in the comments below. Next, we now have a dispatch update, and I have to know how many of you knows what the developers jokingly hinted at. If you don't know, I'm pretty sure it had to do with the recent CrowdStrike issues that happened sometime last week. Let's go ahead and take a look at it right here, and it says, System updated cybersecurity software update has caused an unexpected outage for all destroyer surveillance systems. All personnel are ordered to manually record their own behavior until services are restored. Instructions to service technicians to bring system back online, please manually reboot each affected computer 15 times. Ah, so that's what happened when I was on the destroyer. And yeah, this obviously is a joke here, but I think it's fun to see stuff like this from the developers from time to time, right? Moving forward, let's discuss yesterday's developer update video. I think there are some important details that may have been overlooked, and I believe you'll find this information quite useful. We'll start off with the art design for Escalation of Freedom. You can see the terminates on the left side and the automatons on the other side. Yet most importantly, there's an automaton destroyer. I'm not sure how many of you missed this, and I know some are already aware of this, but if you have not seen it like me, then here you go. Now to be completely real here, it's going to be quite terrifying to think that the automatons can send down orbitals and eagle strikes. I'm going to call them regal strikes, you know, short for robot eagle strikes, because that sounds kind of catchy. The second detail you may have missed in the dev update is that the Impaler will have a vulnerable spot which can be found once the Impaler has burrowed its tentacles into the ground 
and that will expose its weak spots, which can be shot at. You'll notice this during the developer update video, the Impaler has a shield essentially on its face until it forces its head into the ground, and that will be the best time to strike if you do so. I recommend using an anti-tank weapon, perhaps a spear, or maybe even eats could be great at inflicting some heavy damage on this new bug type. Now I do plan on testing what is effective against the new enemy types once the update is live. I'll go through a list of different stratagems to see what works the best. Keep an eye out for that when the video does go live. The best way to do this is to subscribe and make sure the notifications are on. And lastly, towards the end of the developer update video, it looks like we have not seen this type of bot before. This could be a robot with a small flamethrower pistol and a jetpack as well, and maybe this is the emulator from Helldivers 1, except it looks a bit different. Because I do not believe these fellas had a flamethrower and a jetpack, and if it's not, then it's for sure a different robot type that we have not seen until now. We're going to continue onwards. We have some interesting news. The Arrowhead developers have mentioned on a PlayStation blog post that there are new super sample rewards to be earned. So if we head over towards blog.playstation.com, which is an official site created by Sony, and let's scroll about halfway down. We can see that the Arrowhead developers state, CR10 Super Hell Dive is our most challenging, most relentless dive difficulty level yet, and we hope that this is going to give players the intensity they're looking for on the battlefield. And with a great challenge comes great rewards, but a new difficulty level isn't the only thing the community wanted. We've also heard your desire for mission variations, which is why we're bringing you new mission objectives and bigger enemy outposts for both bots and bugs, that offer brand new super sample rewards. These outposts will be heavily fortified and require players to coordinate and strategize in order to take them out. I'm going to lean more towards module upgrades if that's what they're talking about with these super samples, unless they're talking about that there's going to be more super samples on the field. I'm not entirely sure what they're talking about here. Continuing on with the PlayStation blog post, the developers mentioned kicking issues and have a solution for the problem overall. If you scroll towards the bottom, you'll find some text from the developers where they wrote, The last addition I want to highlight about the Escalation of Freedom update is that we're making changes to mitigate the problem of griefing kicking in Helldivers 2. While it's our hope that players engage with the game in good faith and sportsmanship, we do recognize that some players are using the team kicking to grief others. To help improve this, we have implemented a system where if a player is kicked, they will spawn into a new session as the host with all of the team's loot from their previous session. Okay, I'm going to stop just for a bit here. I wonder if that includes samples. Does that include samples or is that just the loot they're carrying? I wonder. I don't know here. But anyways, the developers continue on with, All items can now be picked up by the player before extraction. The squad doing the kicking will see a message in the chat widget that a player has been kicked yet their loot remains unchanged. With these changes, all players have the opportunity to leave with all loot collected on mission, with no Helldiver losing out. We've committed to making changes that will improve the player's experience and encourage healthy cooperative gameplay. This right here, I did not see this yesterday because I was given my honest impressions and thoughts about the newest update, and by the way, if you have already seen this prior, then forgive me for bringing up information that could possibly be old to you, However, there are probably quite a few people who have not seen this just yet, and I hope it's helpful. The developers continued on in this blog post and said, Along with this, we're also releasing other quality of life upgrades with Escalation of Freedom, including major fixes to the social menu to make diving with your friends easier. And if you are subscribed currently on this channel, then you already know about the social menu issues and how they've rewrote the entire code for it. There is sort of a workaround for this currently if you cannot connect with your friends. The support team member right here said, You can both go to a low populated planet, and one of you selects a mission. Then the other person can look for them on the galactic map and join them. Not sure how useful that will be, but you can definitely try that one out. Alright, with that information out of the way, I want to bring up an interesting auto cannon glitch that you may have already seen or have accidentally done it yourself. What you'll want to do is first to equip the auto cannon stratagem, land on a hostile automaton planet, and locate a fabricator. Now, previously I showed that you could do this with a grenade launcher, but you could also do this with an auto cannon. And there are multiple ways of blowing one up. 
The first way is to point the auto cannon up towards an angle like this and shoot. If done successfully, you should see the fabricator blow up. The second method is to locate the left or right side and shoot it at sort of an angle here. And if it's done right, it should ricochet into the fabricator and blow up. The third and final method can be done by going behind the building and shooting underneath the pipe and it'll explode. I believe there is a fourth method, but honestly, I think we've covered enough. Anyways, with all that information being said, this is your Helldivers 2 News. If you guys would like to be featured in the next video, all you have to do is comment down below. The first comment is by Mr. Seer187. The most difficult thing about Helldiver difficulty is finding people that don't shoot every patrol in sight. The second comment is by the fourth Musketeer9770. Just as they said on X, everything about the game is coming just in time. Glad to hear that all of the time they have been working on it, this is going to be a tough dive. And the last and final comment here is by the damn cook. The new tanks will make you look like the Van Gogh meme. So these are the top three comments. Thank you guys for checking out the channel. If you guys would like to be featured in the next video, remember all you have to do is comment down below. Make sure you are subscribed, turn on the notifications, and that way you'll be notified the next time I upload a video. And I'll see you guys in the next one.